Hello Fleet Ready fam! Welcome to Fleet Ready Gaming, my name is Savad, and today we're doing another episode of Patch Note Watch Out. It is March 2nd, 2023, and let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, before we get started, if you could please like and subscribe for the video and channel, it helps us out greatly as we're looking to grow and spread the news about our content to the Star Citizen community. We're currently sitting at 66 subscribers on our channel, looking to grow to 100 by the end of the year. But without much more to do, let's go ahead and check out what has been announced and what has been fixed. So, for known issues. After returning to the menu slash relaunching into the game, the character customizer will open. Uh, Clusher inmate work suite, uh, work suit in inventory after patch. Um, UI quantum travel markers will randomly disappear after quantum travel with no set route. Player characters and vendors, players cannot open inventory in vicinity to food vendors. Bed Logout Avenger Titan, the player character is spawned into the wall of the ship on login. Uh, Multi-vehicle uh, vehicle animation, no animation for entering pilot seat, player will snap into the seat. Constellation Multivariant, the snub fighter lacks interaction prompts to enter it, making it unusable. Wallace Clem is still missing from the drug lab and Grim Hex. Looted ammo clips are still dropping off of players. Uh, audio is missing for quantum travel as, um, as well as additional sound effects. Scanning is not showing advanced statistics and details. Uh, elevators and trams are jittery during transit of player characters. Some ship records erroneously give no material text and will not let you salvage. Fully loaded C2s landing at area 18 can result in slow frame, ra frame rates or crashes. Uh, sometimes flying near another ship uh, will cause the ship to hit an invisible box that kicks it in a random direction. Uh, high capacity cargo vessels when loaded can cause a severe performance drop on both client and server. Uh, players, uh, if a player is placed into Clesher after being rescued with a crime stat, the player is respawned in the facility still incapacitated. For the mission Breach and Steal, the target Reclaimer October Rising will disappear when you get very close to it, making the mission impossible. Selling some of, uh, selling some of the cargo while the vehicle is stored can cause the cargo to show at max inventory capacity. Meanwhile, while uh, large amounts of cargo sold at once will cause the transaction to fail, while the cargo will be taken and no money will be granted. Um, for law and criminality, stolen cargo does not behave as such and can be uh, sold as legal cargo if the ship with the cargo is stored. Meanwhile, some ships, uh, for ships, cockpit, actor, animations, uh, occasionally players are unable to exit ship seats. Um, players can still fall through elevators. The player is unable to call elevators from hangar interiors at RNR rest stops. And finally, um, for an ASOP terminal issue when storing a ship, the ASOP terminal will set the ship status to claim instead of retrieve. So 80%, more like 95% of these bugs are, you know, previous bugs from previous uh, builds. Still working on getting those, you know, squashed but let us continue to what has been squashed and fixed. We have a single fix today. Um, fixed an issue causing cargo to become invisible in multiple ships after being purchased. This may not be this may not fully resolve the issue, so please let us know in the regression thread. So they believe they fixed it in some ships, but possibly not all of them. So yeah, if you're still running into it in this patch, definitely let uh, Spectrum know. On the technical side, we have temporarily disabled claim jumper missions in this build while we investigate additional server stalls. Definitely good. I mean, those claim jumper missions have had a lot of issues for quite some time, from AI not spawning to the uh, sentries not uh, spawning or not 
being destroyed have had them where they were all invulnerable and you would just have infinite NPCs spawning as you are attempting to survive and do the mission which was a good way to grind money but you know um, slow and painful <laughs> and then finally we had a server crash fix and they fixed a major cause of low perf server performance introduced in the previous build. So definitely good to see that, you know, they were able to fix uh, fix something from the patch that came out yesterday. So especially if it was causing major uh, low server performance. So we'll go ahead and give that an upvote. Um, but yeah, progress is still being made. It's uh, Thursday, and so we have one more day for them to get another build out. Uh, we'll be having another alert video here later today. Uh, there's going to be a big stress test push that's happening, and uh, we'll cover that here in the, another video here uh, coming soon. But with that being said, I hope you guys liked the video. Please consider liking, subscribing to the channel, and the video really helps us out. And uh, if you weren't aware, we're having a giveaway contest. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment with the hashtag Fleet Ready Gift. Uh, love to talk to you guys about uh, what's going on with each patch note and any other topic that our, our channel covers. Love talking to you guys. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. So hope you guys have a wonderful evening, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.